Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, March 15th. It's the second week in Lent and week four in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 73 to 96. And John chapter 5, verse 1 to 18. And now, please join me in singing verse 3 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shade. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. And they that fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O God, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your merciful kindness be my comfort according to your word. And let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate in your precepts. Let those that fear you turn to me, and those that have known your testimonies, let my heart be sound in your statutes, lest I be ashamed. And my soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes fail watching for your word. When will you comfort me? For I become like a bottle lost in the smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are my days? And when will you execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me with lies. Help me. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your loving kindness give me life, and I shall keep the decrees of your mouth. Your word, O God, is settled in heaven forever. Your faithfulness is to all generations. You have established the earth, and it abides. They continue to this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for with them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but your commandment has no bounds. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called, in Hebrew, Beth Zatha, which has five porticos, and in these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said, Do you want to be made well? 
And the sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. And Jesus said to him, Stand up and take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat, and he began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is this man that made you well? And who said, Take it up and walk. Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. And the man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. And therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but he was calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. With your hands, O God, you have made and fashioned us. Grant us your wisdom and understanding, that we may live according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.